I'm here in the East Front Gardens at Hampton Court Palace looking at spring lawn care and what I'll do is I'll take you through the step-by-step -step procedures that we carry out here on our lawns but more importantly to help you at home with your own lawns. Two of the problems that we have with our lawns here is moss and thatch. Thatch is basically the build-up of dead grass that we've accumulated over the course of the growing season and moss is a major problem. Moss is one of these plants that grows where the soil has been compacted. Because of that, the moisture doesn't drain away very quickly from the soil. We're finding here that with the events that we have during the course of the season, we're getting lots of compaction. So that's why we're going through this lawn maintenance. You'll probably get that similarly at home. Maybe if you've got a marquee up during the summer, or you've got lots of friends around for a barbecue, and even a paddling pool, you'll find that areas of those lawns where those have been will be compacted. So I've got my trusty springbok rake, or wire rake, and I'm going to rake the hell out of the lawn to get rid of our moss and thatch. So you can see the amount of thatch and moss that I've pulled out of the lawn just in the small area that I've raked. So back in the day, there would have been gardeners side by side working across the whole of the east front lawn. We've now got tractor draw machinery and smaller handheld machinery that if you've got a small garden, you can quite easily hire to make this process a lot easier to do. So all this thatch and moss, we produce tons of it. We turn into green waste that we put onto our beds and our borders in the autumn for food for our plants. So we carried out our scarification where we got rid of the thatch and our moss. One of the other things that's really important to do is to get rid of our weeds as well. So we can either use a hand trowel to physically dig them out or we can use a herbicide which will actually kill the weed from the top down. Once those have gone, we can add a top dress, which is a soil-based compost. That's really useful because it gives us a bed for the seed to germinate into. Overseed it, apply a slow-release fertiliser, something that you can do quite happily from any garden centre, and if you apply it every six to eight weeks, that will encourage a strong green grass growth. So what we try and do is work with the weather. So if the weather's been wet, we'll apply our fertiliser, and then hopefully there'll be some rain afterwards as well to wash the fertiliser down into the soil. But we can always add water, i.e. through a sprinkler system or something like that, which will encourage strong, healthy root growth and lush green leaf growth. One of the obvious things you should be doing during the course of the spring and summer on a regular basis is mowing your lawns. What you'll find is that the lawn will actually grow much, much better. It'll be much greener, much healthier and that will look fantastic during the summer months.